And so truthfully, I didn't know that all of this is going to be how it is now. You know, you you just have to prepare yourself. You have to prepare yourself and you have to understand that it's certain levels to all of this. It's certain levels to all of this. The level that I was at before was very low and it probably was low because I did not I didn't know I didn't have any more information concerning what I was called to do I had very little information on it so the enemy wasn't fighting me as much but when I became aware of where God wanted to take me once I was a light came on within me and I understood okay God wants to take me to do this this is huge that's when the enemy was like oh she's awake like she sees what God wants to do using her life I have got to stop her quick and that's what he does that's what he does and he doesn't care he can put in the time to stop us from fulfilling destiny he's very patient and he will put in that time to block us to hinder us he will send all types of whoever down our path uh across our path um but this is what i heard god saying to me this is what he was saying to me today he was saying to me that his timing is perfect he doesn't miss his timing is perfect for you so where you are today is where you are supposed to be. What you're doing right now is actually what you're supposed to be doing. He knows all. He knows the beginning from the end. So he's he knows your life. He knows how many how many hairs are on your head. So if he has numbered the uh, the hairs on your head, then he knows you personally. You know, and He's not going to bring you into a certain place where he doesn't get the maximum from your life. He's put too much into you to not get the maximum out of you. So if you feel like the years are so much, be encouraged. Because yeah, while they may be a lot of years, just take it as, okay, that was developing time. That was time for him to train you, to teach you. During that time, appreciate the blessings he sent your way, the miracles that he sent your way, uh, the, the newer people that he's placed on your path that don't have ill intent towards you. They don't want to harm you, but they want to help assist you in fulfilling that which God has called you to do. Forget those people who didn't want to help you. Forget those people who uh, talk bad about you. Forget those people. They mean absolutely nothing. As far as your concern and as far as your destiny is concerned, that is between you and God. And those people that should be getting the attention from you are those people who invest into your life properly. When it comes to, you know, where it is that God has desired to take you to. So, yeah, the devil is hot on a lot of people's trails right now. Yeah, because his time is short. He doesn't have a lot of time out here. And if you're paying attention, I mean, it just seems like nobody, we, we can't catch a break out here. It just seems like back-to-back -back stuff. Like he's trying to send the world into chaos, which he's doing. He's sending the world into chaos, which is why we all have to be doing what it is that God has called us to do. I don't care how small you may feel that it is. It's not small to God. And it's nothing that the world could possibly offer you that is better than what God has promised you to give you 
when this is all over. Just remember that. Remember that you're aiming to please God. You're not aiming to please people in the world. You're aiming to please God. You want God to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You don't you don't need what this world is trying to give to you. You need to hear what God has to say to you concerning your soul, where you're going, where you end up. You need to hear well done. So as long as that's your focus point uh, and hearing others get in and hearing others cross over and hearing others get saved and delivered and that's what brings you joy you're in the uh, proper place you're in the place that God wants you to be in